What have I got going today? Well, I have a stepping motor and the driver board, a, an Arduino Uno, and a joystick all connected together. And I will give you a brief demo. And then we, if you're interested, you can watch on and see the software and hardware. And of course, I will include a circuit diagram at the end. I have this programmed so that when I push the joystick this way, it begins to turn clockwise. And when I go this way, it goes counterclockwise. And you say, oh, that's really slow. Yes. But I also have a program so that when I go this way and then I go up, I increase the speed. And when I go down this way, I decrease the speed. Speed increase clockwise, speed decrease clockwise, speed increase clockwise. When I go this way, it's counterclockwise. Increase speed counterclockwise. Decrease speed counterclockwise. Increase speed counterclockwise. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, I think it's... Uh, Kind of cute and it's definitely fun to play with. Okay, so let's look at the hardware and the software behind this. Let's look at the hardware. It's uh, really just a few pieces. We have uh, the joystick, the Arduino, the stepping motor controller, and the stepper motor itself. Let's start over here on this side. Uh, the joystick has five connections to it. The first one is ground and I just ran it right over to the ground on the Arduino. The next is the VCC and the joystick is supposed to run on 5 volts but I've only got uh, one 5 volt connection and so I've used that for the stepping motor. Uh, I have connected it to the 3.3 volt and you know it seems to work fine. It may change the parameters in the software if you choose to use the 5 volt but uh, other than that I don't think it's going to make much difference. The next is the VRX pin. So this is the X of the X and Y pin and I have it connected to the analog zero on the Arduino. And then after that is the Y connection, the Y coordinate for the joystick. And that goes to A1, the analog pin one. And then the last thing is the switch and I have it connected to interrupt two. Uh, I'm not using it this time around, but uh, yeah, just in case I want to do something like honk the horn or whatever, I can uh, do that. Okay, so uh, moving right along, this side we have the stepping motor, and we have pin one of the stepping motor connected to uh, pin four of the Arduino, that's the digital pin. Uh, Arduino pin five connects to pin two of the motor. Pin 3 of the motor controller connects to pin 6 of the Arduino. And pin 7 of the Arduino connects to pin 4 of the motor. Uh, yeah, okay. And then the last two connections are the ground. So we have a ground for this board. And then the 5 volt connection to the Arduino. And that's it. So yeah, a few more wires than usual, but still overall uh, rather simple and straightforward. This is our software and it's uh, written in C for the Arduino and I titled it Joystick Control of Stepper Motor. It uses the ULN2003 chipboard and I bought that as part of the Gravitech ROMT0647 stepper motor kit. It uses the 28BYJ48 uh, motor which is 5 volts, 4 phase, the gear ratio is 1 to 64. The angle is 5.625 degrees, which gives us 64 steps of the motor per one motor revolution. That's not the output shaft. Uh, I have another video explaining all this in detail, so I'm just going to rush over this. But yes, if you want to know all the details on this, I have just a, uh, a video that strictly talks about just the stepping motor. Okay, back to it. 64 motor revolutions times 64 gears equals 40, 96 cycles. So we have to cycle through the code down here 4096 times to get one output shaft revolution. So that's a little bit important. I am not using the stepper.h library and keep in mind that this will be much faster if you do not use the serial print in the routine. Some places, if you put a serial print in here, it'll slow it way, way down. Okay, uh, joystick is the HW504. Uh, Switch is pin 2, VRX, analog pin is A0, VRY, analog pin A1, 
and the 5 volts I'm actually using 3.3 volts and I'll explain that on the uh, on the uh, circuit diagram and then ground is ground okay so let's scroll down the next thing we have are the declarations of our uh, variables and this first thing is just the Arduino pins so I'm using four five six and seven that's for the stepping motor then I've got a rotate direction and I'm using minus one uh, for clockwise and one for clockwise then I've got a rotation speed which is actually a delay in milliseconds and note here it has to be greater than or equal to one as we said up there earlier it, the there's 40 96 revolutions per if the motor per one shaft output now you're saying wait a minute you said 4096 yes that's true but it's actually 4096 minus one because it goes from zero to 4095 and i also found that when i was actually using the stepper motor when i did 4095 it would stop say when i rotated it 100 times it would stop long so when I used 4094, it stopped perfectly. I suspect that Arduino math is getting me on that. Okay, uh, then the uh, this is an index to the pins and the output pins to the stepping motor. And then this is the index to this right here. And what this is, is this is an array that contains the pulses that we're going to send to the stepping motor. Okay, again, I won't go over that in detail. Um, the next thing are the variables for the joystick over here. Okay, so we have the switch pin equals two. So this is just the Arduino digital pin for the joystick switch, which we're not really using. The uh, An integer VRX, and uh, that is the pin zero analog to the joystick that goes to the VRX right there. Uh, then we have the value of VRX. So this is what we're actually grabbing from the analog read of the pin. Then we have constant interval, integer, interval, integer VRY, which we start out with one, pin one analog to the joystick. So that's right there. And then we have integer VRY value equals zero. So this is the value of the VRY when we read uh, this down here. Okay. So let's scroll again. This is the Arduino setup routine. And what we're going to do here is we're going to open the uh, serial communication to the USB port. Then I am setting pin mode, switch pin equals input. So I'm defining the pin for the joystick switch. Again, uh, I'm not really using it for this. Um, then I have digital right, switch pin is high, so I'm going to initialize that to on. The next thing is I'm going to set the Arduino pins as output, and again, this is for the stepping motor. So I run through this uh, for loop and set them to output and also initialize them to off or low. And then I am going to print line joystick uh, Rx equals counterclockwise uh, left so left and right on the joystick is clockwise counterclockwise uh, going up on the y is fast and going down on the y is slow so that's our setup routine so let's look at the joystick routine here we are grabbing the value from vrx so we're doing an analog read on vrx that is here I should point out that the joystick works by changing resistance. So there's two resistors on here and you change the resistance and that is read as an analog value by the Arduino and it just comes out as a number. So that's what we're doing here. We're grabbing that value. If the VRX value is less than 310, then I rotate uh, the rotate direction uh, is one, which if we remember is counterclockwise. Otherwise, the rotate direction is minus one or clockwise. Next, we're going to grab the value from the VRY pin here. And that's going to become our rotation speed. So rotation speed equals map of VRY value 0, 800, 130. So we're mapping 
uh, the values from 0 to 800 onto the values of 1 to 30. Okay, and the next thing is if digital read of switch pin, then okay, I print honk. So yes, I'm actually using this. And so when you push down on it, it prints honk on the COM3. Uh, but yeah, it, it doesn't do anything serious. Okay, so onward. The first thing we do in the loop routine is called the joystick routine, which we looked at up here. And then we enter a while loop and we say, well, the value of X is between 310 and 370. Now these are the values that are being returned uh, back from here. And it's what we're reading in the A0. So these are the resistor values and what this, I got this through experimentation and this is when the joystick is centered, it's usually between these two values. So if you use a five volt, uh, in your, in your joystick, these values may vary. So, uh, you'll have to calibrate it for the input voltage. Again, I'm using 3.3. .3. Okay. So that's the while loop inside the while loop. We have a for loop. And this is the thing that walks the four pins on the Arduino pins four, five, six, seven. And it's walking across this way in this array. And in this array, again, if this is a one, then it turns that pin on. So this would turn on pin four and this would turn off five, six, seven. And then the next time, the next step, it would turn on uh, four and five and turn off six and seven and on and going through there. Okay, so, uh, and this is where we turn it on and off based on those numbers. If step sequence, which is this up here, step sequence, indexed by step sequence number and pin, and that's where pin is being used right here, equals one, if the pattern value is equal to one, in other words, then we set that Arduino pin to high. Otherwise, we set the Arduino pin to low. We turn it off. Okay, and this is where we set the rotation direction counterclockwise is a minus one and clockwise is a one and as we go through here we either decrement or increment which causes us to either walk this way or backwards through this array and let's see um yeah so that's what this is doing if step sequence is greater than or equal to eight step sequence equals zero so that's walking zero to seven Otherwise, we're walking seven through zero on this array. So zero through seven or seven through zero. Next is the rotational speed delay. If the rotational speed is too fast, your stepping motor will just sit there and hum. Nothing will happen. So this controls the speed of the stepping motor. And then the last thing is we control, we control, we call joystick again, this routine. And then we start that start that loop over again and when we're done with that what we do is we come down here and we uh, if the joystick is doing nothing it'll fall through here and then what will happen is we will turn all the pins of the stepping motor off to ensure that the stepping motor is not just drawing power and possibly heating up too much uh, unnecessarily okay and then we go back and then we repeat the uh, the uh, loop over and over again and it sits there waiting for us to provide some joystick input well that's it for using a joystick to control a stepping motor via the arduino i hope you found that useful and interesting in your arduino programming and electronics experimentation